Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC, and we're here at GTC 2012. I'm here with Bill Minnell. He is the VP of Product Marketing at yes. uh, SGI. Yep. So, Bill, you know, I, I'm, thanks for coming. I, I wanted to talk to you guys because uh, w when I think about GPU computing, I don't necessarily think of SGI first. And uh, oh, what do you guys have in that area? So we have a whole portfolio from rack mount systems, the GPUs, to bladed systems like our Altex Ice platform, all the way to uh, scale up systems like our, our UV platform also has a, has a GPU component to it as well. So we've actually shipped some systems with Tesla as a, as a uh, compute offload on our UV. So we have both scale up and scale out solutions with GPU. So that's one of the things that, that distinguishes us from, from other vendors in this space. Sure, sure. So, are, are your systems they're they're heterogeneous systems with x86, like probably Intel or uh, processors? Um, so, so we offer both AMD and Intel. Okay. In our scale up line, <laughs> uh, we actually just are based around Intel. Uh, but for all of our scale out solutions, we offer both AMD and Intel, and have shipped both actually with GPUs. Okay, okay. So, so today we're here. At, we're we're here in May 2012. You guys are shipping uh, the Fermi. Uh, version of the GPU today? That's correct, yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and what do we have here? What, what, what did you bring for so us? So this today? is actually the latest version oh, of a uh, product that uh, NVIDIA is releasing. This is the, the Kepler product, the K10 product. Um, and this, uh, this product is actually um, uh, a single precision monster from that standpoint. So it's got a couple of chips on board. Uh, we actually integrate this into um, our rack mount servers. Um, and actually we have what we call a starter kit right now, which is actually 20 of these in 10 servers um, that will integrate and make available to you. Um, it's rough, it's about 75 teraflops worth of compute in about a quarter of a rack from that standpoint. So it's okay. pretty impressive amount okay. of compute. And, and as, as a starter kit, I assume this will help them get used to the Kepler architecture and start programming today for what's going to be when is the, the Kepler uh, double precision, the K20? When are you, you know, expecting that? You know, that's probably the end of the calendar year from okay. that standpoint. So, so we expect it to arrive then. This, this particular model is available this summer from that standpoint. So okay. um, if, you're in, if you're doing uh, image processing, radio astronomy, uh, seismic, for example, it's a perfect card for you mm -hmm. um, with um, almost um, well, over, over two teraflops of chip. Uh, single precision capability. Okay. So, Bill, let me ask you. I mean, uh, you know, these aren't available directly from NVIDIA. You have to get them through, uh, you know, um, an OEM like SGI. Why? Why SGI? I mean, what would you say if I said why would I pick SGI as, as the vendor to deliver this kind of GPU solution? Well, because we integrate the boxes together, we provide a software stack on them, um, and we and we deliver them ready to go. We call it startup and go. You you plug it in, and it works from that standpoint. Um, and um, you know we do have almost a 30-year history in accelerators. You know the geometry engine that started the company was really an accelerator. Yeah. And yeah. we've delivered anything from FPGAs to GPUs. You know we're we're uh, just across the board in terms of accelerators. Okay. To go and you guys have had a number of wins recently that are in the petascale, as I recall. Mm -hmm. are, are those hybrid systems using this kind of thing um, in, in particular? Or? Uh, we have um, well, we have a very interesting installation in Poznan in Poland, um, which. Um, uh, is essentially uh, uh, one of our rack mount clusters, our rackable clusters. That's that's uh, um, it's a GPU type cluster, so it's it's ended up pretty high. Some of our bigger installations, you know, everyone has some GPU capability. So, for example, at our NASA Pleiades, mm -hmm. um, in addition to having a big ICE system uh, based around conventional CPUs, they also have a NVIDIA cluster that we sold them as well, based upon the same. A rackable rack mount. I think that one's an M2090, so the previous yeah. Fermi. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I guess kind of a wrap up here, Bill. Uh, what's exciting about Kepler in general? I mean, especially the for the HPC guys down the road when that double precision comes comes to market. You know, what do you tell people? Sure. Yeah. I think um, you know it's the it's the next step in terms of both performance and in terms of. Uh, performance per watt as well. Um, so they've they've done a really good job in not only souping up the performance, but but keeping within a reasonable power envelope as well. Um, I think the other thing is it's it's another year of of CUDA, more applications available, all those kinds of things as well. So this is kind of coming right at the right time from that standpoint.